Hi, I am Cikgu Dila and today we will learn something new which is on electricity. Electricity is chapter 7, standard 5. Let's see. In electric circuit, there will be at least electric source which is battery, dry cell, the connector which is the wire and also the lamp. That is the most basic of electric circuit. So what is electricity? So electricity is the flow of electrical energy of electric charge. Now let's see the source of electricity. First we have generator. Generator is a device that converts mechanical energy to electrical energy. This is the picture of a generator. Generator is used to generate electricity in house that are located in remote area with no supply of electricity. For this kind of generator, this one usually used to generate supply electrical energy to the stall in the night market. Besides, it also used to supply electrical energy to an air pump in the fish pond. For your information, mechanical energy is the sum of potential energy and kinetic energy. The second source of electricity is accumulator. Accumulator are rechargeable battery that could supply large electrical energy compared to dry cell. It commonly used in motor vehicles. Like this one, I usually use in the car. Okay, that is the accumulator. So this accumulator used in a car, whereas the small one, this used in a motorcycle. Next, we have the source of electricity, which is dynamo. Dynamo are fixed to bicycle wheel to light a bicycle lamp. It converts mechanical energy to electrical energy. So this is the picture of dynamo and it will fix at the bicycle wheels. That's it. So dynamo that are fixed to a bicycle. So how dynamo works? When wheel rub against the tire to make the magnet turns and then once the magnet turns the coil of the wire, the wire going to the lamp and light up the bicycle. This is the way of dynamo works. Next, we also the saw have the source of electricity from hydroelectric power plant. Hydroelectric power use kinetic energy of water, which is released from a dam or waterfall to turn the water turbine to generate electricity. The electrical energy produced a great enough to supply houses, offices, and factories. This is the example of a dam so this is the Bakun Dam, hydroelectric. The Bakun Dam is a hydroelectric dam in Sarawak, Malaysia. The wall of the dam is made of concrete, and it is the highest in the world. The dam is able to generate two thousand four hundred megawatt electric electrical energy. We also have a solar cell. Solar cell convert light energy to electrical energy. It commonly used in calculator or water heater since it produces small amount of electrical current. For example, the solar cell in calculator, the solar cell used for a house and this is the solar cell power plant. Power plant? Oh no, there is a solar cell that produces a some bigger energy, electrical energy. Next, we move to a battery. So for example, so battery can be divided into several types. 
which is we also we have a dry cell. Dry cell contain chemical energy that can be changed into electrical energy. It supply a small amount of electrical energy. This one cannot be recharged. For example, like this one. Battery also have another type, which is the other example is we have alkaline cell like this one. We have the mercury cell. This one usually used in the watch. Uh, watch, a small light, calculator. We also have lithium ion cell. That like this one, lithium ion cell like this, usually used in handphone, in camera and also for laptop next we move to electric circuit what is electric circuit electric circuit is the part for transmitting electric current let's see the symbol of electric component we have the component which is dry cell bulb switch and connecting wire so this is a complete circuit and we also have this one which is a circuit diagram usually we draw in a circuit diagram so let's identify the part that one is a dry cell that one is a switch and the last one, that one is a bulb. Let's identify the functions of the switch. In this diagram, the switch is closed. When the switch is closed, the bulb will light up. Electric current can flow in a complete electrical circuit. And for this one, the switch is open. When the switch is open, the bulb does not light up. It is because the electric current cannot flow in a complete electrical circuit. Next, we look at the type of circuit. We have two types of circuit. The first one is a series circuit and the second one is a parallel circuit. This is the series circuit. This is the parallel circuit. What is the difference? Let's look at it. In a series circuit, the bulb are connected next to each other in a row. There is only one pathway from the dry cell to the bulb and back to the dry cell. Compared to the parallel circuit, the bulb are connected using parallel connection there is more one pathway for the current for the electric current to flow through the circuit and let's see this is the difference between that one the previous one is the electric circuit this one is the diagram so why are the light bulb in parallel circuit brighter so let's see this is the series circuit this is the parallel circuit the electrical energy flow in the same path in a series circuit so that's why all light bulb in a series circuit share the electrical energy supply by dry cell this causes the bulb glow dimmer but compared to the parallel circuit the electrical energy flows in different path in a parallel circuit the electrical energy that flows in each path are equal this causes the bulb to glow brighter so compare series circuit and parallel circuit parallel circuit the bulb will light brighter glow brighter next we move to the careless carelessness in handling electrical appliance this we need to make sure we don't do it okay look what happened 
if there is a carelessness in handling electrical appliance, there might be an accident, there might be a fire. So let's see. Here I will give some example of carelessness in handling electrical appliance. The first one, touching the switch with wet hand never do this. Okay, next, leaving the electrical appliance on for a long period of time. Using a faulty electrical wire, poking the socket with an electrical conductor. Why? Electrical conductor can flow electrical currents. That's why you can get electric shock. So don't use electrical conductor to poke the socket. Does not practice safety measure when using electrical appliance. And last, not learning the correct method when using electrical appliance at home. Usually when you buy any electrical appliance, they will give you the, the procedure. So make sure you read it up first. Next, we move to the safety precautions for handling electrical appliance. What can we do is we need to know that improper way of handling electrical appliance can lead to electrocutions, fire and death by electric shock. The following are the precaution steps that can be taken. The first one, do not touch socket or switches with wet hand. Remember that. Do not repair electrical appliance before switching off the main switch. And lastly, do not connect too many plug on one socket. So if not, this can be happen to you. I think that's it for our lessons about electric. Thank you for listening, but don't forget to like and subscribe my videos. Thank you, see you again.